Okay guys, well for my first video of my end of an age series, I thought I would start by addressing the increase in plasma discharge events that we're now seeing take place all around our planet. Now, it seems that Bangladesh and India are bearing the blunt of this increased activity and so far there have been 261 deaths this year whereas last year they had 265 events that resulted in death for the total of 2015 and so we are only halfway through 2016 and we've already seen 261 deaths due to this increased energetic activity of the atmosphere. Now there are even reports that some of these lightning strikes are actually coming out of clear skies. Now if you were following my Ragnarok Cometh updates last year, you'll remember that I actually did address this increase in our atmosphere being more electrified because we are basically being supercharged. Our planet is being supercharged and we are being supercharged too. And so indeed we're now seeing these events increasing and we will continue to see these events increasing. And so I would warn people that if you are caught in a storm or there is very severe weather that you do not stay out in open areas because you do have a risk of being hit by lightning more so than you would in previous years. Now, we're not only seeing these events occurring in Bangladesh and India, but we saw that on the 26th of June, a man was struck in Missouri by lightning and it killed him and his dog. We're also seeing lightning strikes killing cattle and in this incident in uh, Kyrgyzstan we saw 55 sheep struck and on the 20th of June there are 120 sheep that were killed. So we really do need to start paying attention to this severe weather because it is only going to continue to increase. Now I also wanted to bring your attention to the symbolism and we see that Zeus carries a lightning bolt. Now we know that Zeus is another name for the Creator and this is what the Greeks called God. Just like we see the Egyptians refer to the Creator as Osiris, we see the Norse refer to the Creator as Odin, we see the Hindu refer to the Creator as Vishnu. So what we have to understand is that these aren't all different separate gods. This is the one God and the different cultures are basically addressing the information in their own way. They're expressing it in their own way. And so in the religion of Islam, we see that they call God Allah. And so if you see people actually saying that Allah is Satan and Allah is evil, they're basically calling God Satan or evil. And unfortunately, it's very hard to try and educate these people to understand that it's just the different cultures are all telling a similar story but they're expressing it in a different way. And so we see that Zeus carries the lightning bolt. And this is because the ancients were warning us that a precursor to the return of the influence of our creator on the physical plane would see an increase in energy. This is how they were communicating these changes to us. And it's only so those who are paying attention, who are observing, who are true seekers of knowledge would be able to understand what they were relating. So if you are just taking your information from 
Fox News or CNN or the media, then you are only getting a fraction of the understanding you need to bring the picture into focus. So if you're only just getting one fragment reported to you by a talking head who follows a narrative and a set script, then you're not going to see the bigger picture. If you go out and self-educate, if you go out and read all of the old mythologies, read all the old prophecies, read all the holy books, not just one, not just the Bible, go read them all. And you will begin to see how the pieces all fit together. You will begin to see the common theme in all of the mythologies, in all of the scriptures, in all of the sacred texts. And it speaks of a cycle. And this is why we're coming to the end of the age of iron, the end of this cycle as well, that is the 26,000 year great year. So we are in a time of the cycle where we are seeing severe events now and they are going to continue to increase. And we can see that we have men down here and their legs are of serpents and this is because the serpent has taken control. Now we see a lot of different symbolism with the serpent. The serpent can be a friend or be a foe. The serpent can basically be controlled and used to gain wisdom but if you allow the serpent to control you then it can drag you down into your physicality and that's basically what even the devil means. It just means that you are not aware of your spiritual nature, you are not aware of your ethereal side and so you allow your physical nature to dictate to you your complete understanding of reality, your complete understanding of who you are. And this is exactly what Satan and the devil actually means. It's a state of consciousness that mankind have allowed themselves to be dragged into with the help of the Vatican, who are the head department of the Antichrist, and utilizing all of the media to basically bring mankind into a state of consciousness that only worships materialism, that only worships physical pleasures and, you know, basically it's all about the, the fulfillment of physical attainment and material attainment. Nobody really looks within anymore and understands that spiritual nature and so this is what this lightning bolt is representing, the return of the Creator's presence on the physical plane and that is going to bring a lot of pain to mortals that have not taken the correct path because their ignorance is what is going to destroy them. So I will leave it there. I will post all of the articles underneath and you can look at that further. But there are many more events than the ones that I've just covered here and shown you in this video. You just need to go and basically have uh, a look around and you will find that there has definitely been a big increase with all of these lightning strikes. So heads up guys, just be aware when you're in severe weather, just don't be out in open areas, even around trees because lightning can be attracted to trees as well. So I'll leave it there, guys, and as always, peace out.